Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly update video. And um, I got a lot of stuff this week, so I did some separate videos. Um, you may have seen my uh, L case haul from last night. And um, I got an REOK -OK from Jimmy Mitchell 24-7 this week, which was awesome. And... Uh, Oh, and I went to that uh, charity sale for the uh, Harbor House, which is a domestic abuse shelter, and um, got a ton of stuff there and made a separate video for that, so check those out um, if you haven't already. And uh, so those are the three videos I made this week, and then we've got just my weekly update video today. So um, basically I'm just going to show you what else I got besides that stuff. So I've already got a ton of stuff this week, and this is just the stuff that I haven't shown. Um, of course, picked up some Hot Wheels. We know that I got uh, some LK's Hot Wheels. There's just a few here that I wanted to crack open. Um, this uh, Honda Odyssey is pretty sweet. Um, I really dig this casting, of course. It's a minivan. I love minivans. So that's pretty cool. I actually already cracked a different one. And this one, I already put different wheels on it. I cracked this one out of the package, and I dropped it and chipped the paint. So this is going to become a custom. Um, the other cool thing about this Odyssey is that this is uh, clear, so the headlight bits are clear. So I might be able to add some uh, headlights to the Odyssey. We'll see what happens if I'm able to get that done. I kind of looked at it a little bit today. It is going to be a bit of a challenge. It's not going to be a, a real easy one to do, but... Um, I might be able to do it. So, got that. So I'm put that back together. Odyssey. This Dodge van is awesome. Crack that guy open. Add that to my 77 Dodge van collection. This is pretty cool. Totally digging that. So we got that. And we got the uh, Ford Escort. Cracking one of those. all seen this casting and probably don't care about it too much but um, I'll probably get every version of it that that comes out and display them loose so there's that and this is the one of the best castings in the case right here this Torino Talladega and it's alternate color definitely you could put some NASCAR wheels on this one too so that's pretty cool um, let's see here, what else did I get this week? Well, I got, um, so that came from Hot Wheels. I did pick up one of these. Yeah, they're expensive. They're overpriced, really. I mean, they're $20 plus about 7 bucks shipping for this. And a Protecto, so $27 all said and done. It's limited to 3000 I got a high number, $29.55. Really tempted to crack it open because this is really sweet. It would probably be really awesome out of the package, but we're going to leave it in for now. Um, and then let's see here. I picked up, um, I did get some uh, Matchbox. I found like the latest case of Matchbox, and I picked up uh, two of some of the nice ones. So this is one I only got one of. Here's your Porsche Cayman. That's pretty cool. New Matchbox stuff is looking really good. Got this um, Mustang cop car. Pretty cool. Um, this lifted Mustang Mudstanger. That's pretty neat. Should uh, open one of these. Um, interestingly enough, guess what? It's got tape. The packaging's got tape. Blisters are tape. Matchbox. So that stinks, but... Uh, there's your mud stinger. That is pretty cool. So we got that. And let's see here. We're going to open up one of these MX-5 Miatas. Open up that one. Tape, tape, tape. Here's your Miata. That looks real nice. It's a very nice looking casting. Matchbox just kills it with their realistic models. They just look so great. They got minimal tampos. Just 
headlights, taillights, just looks like a nice real car. It's pretty awesome. And then there's Corvette, Stingray. Open up this one here. And can't crack it, crack it proper because it's got tape on it. And there's that. Pretty sweet. So that's pretty much what I picked up aside from those other big hauls or whatever. Some Matchbox and uh, that RLC car, which is pretty sweet. Um, then quickly we should probably talk about customs. Um, I said last week I was going to try to put uh, headlights in this thing. Well, it's been proven difficult, so I haven't got any progress really done on it. What I was going to try to do actually was take out this motor thing right here and have the battery sit right underneath the hood. So if you wanted to change the battery, you just pop open the hood and you could pop out the battery and put a different battery in. And then you'd have a changed battery and it'd be back up and running. So I still might do that. We'll see if I can finagle that and get it to fit. It's just tough because there's, you know, the little hinges in here for the doors are, are inside of there. And it's packed in there pretty tight. So we'll see what I can come up with for that. Um finished the super van this is the uh, complement to my Ferrari which I entered into the Superfly custom contest and it did not make the top 25 oh and by the way congrats shout out to Mr. Sensitivity and um, Nesto P both their uh, customs made it to the top 25 so that is awesome guys good job um, mine did not make it but that's okay um, it's still cool to me and uh, then we got this now, this super van, to complement the same color scheme, same paint, detailed the front up a little bit, and of course, it's got lights. So these are pretty cool. I posted a couple pictures to my Instagram. So I think they look great. They look great together. So there's that. Um, other customs in the works. I. Uh, just kind of polished up this guy and put some wheels on it, the Silverado. I'm going to try to put headlights in this one probably. And then I'm going to try to come up with something for a ton of cover to cover where the battery is going to go because it will go in the bed of the truck. Um, I thought that would be pretty cool just to have a, you know, a ton of cover that would cover that and you could open it up and have easy access to the battery. So that is coming sometime soon maybe. I don't know. See, the thing is with customs with me, I start something and then I don't finish it, and then I just like get distracted and start something else, and uh, until I feel motivated on that other same thing again, it might sit for a while. So I did this uh, super van, Ford Transit super van, and um, lowered it just a little bit, and put these uh, Japan historic wheels on it, and then polished it, and then I cut holes or drilled holes in the front. There will be lenses that I'm going to pop in there, and there will be headlights in this one. Of course, there will be headlights in it. And um, the switch is actually going to be in the door handle. So I'm trying to do things a little different with each one of these LEDs, just learning as I go, trying to put these together. So this one should be pretty sweet when I'm done with it. Don't know what color I'm going to paint it yet, but probably something translucent since I spent some time polishing it. And it shines pretty good, so there's that. Um, and I think that is it for the week. It was actually a really good week. Um, just awesome stuff. Jimmy Mitchell, that REOK was so awesome. Thank you again so much for that. Um, really cool that I got to go to that uh, charity sale, sale that was uh, for a good cause, good stuff for good prices. So I got some awesome stuff there. And um, got to hit a dump in, didn't get a super, but... Oh well, it's the boom box. Can't say that I really want to hunt very hard for that one. So that's about it. You guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll be spamming your feed with recolor updates this week since I just filmed seven of them. And I'll just release them throughout the week. Um, so sorry about that in advance if you don't like those little videos. Um, they're more for the novice collector anyway. And uh, that's about it. So thank you very much. Have a good day.